we are in Steve's kitchen. Uh, Steve plays in Alice. He plays in Android Lust. And uh, Mankind is Obsolete. He's using his space to practice it as well. And uh, today, I will be making baked tofu. This is a really, really simple way to prepare uh, tofu. So if you're vegan or even if you're not, you want to incorporate that into your diet. Um, let me show you a cool way that's very versatile. What you end up doing is you're going to marinate some tofu. I'm just going to use a few simple ingredients and we're going to start off with some tamari, which sometimes is referred to as soy sauce. Um, I've got a little onion powder and I've got a little garlic powder. And uh, this is some olive oil spray, so we'll use that for the pan uh, later on. But it's just going to be these simple ingredients. And you can expand from these ingredients if you want to kind of go into a certain direction. You could add some rice wine vinegar. You could add uh, some basil or thyme if you want like a different kind of vibe going with that. Uh, you could add sort of like a barbecue sauce to it as well uh, if you want to uh, have the tofu taste like that. So... Anyway, this is a pretty versatile recipe again, and uh, this, is an, this is just a really easy, simple way to do things. So, all right, so what we're gonna do, we will open the containers and drain the tofu. So just get some of this out of here, give it a little bit of a rinse. And I'm using two packs of tofu right now. You can do this with just one. It just depends on how many people are eating it. But, I mean, this would serve... If four people were eating dinner, I would say that this would probably do it. But you can chop these slices up and put them on salads. You could chill them. You could uh, use the slices on sandwiches. So just add that instead of like a lunch meat or something like that. So, yeah, you can do a lot with this uh, particular recipe. And use extra firm tofu. There's so many different varieties. I don't know if you can see on the package, but make sure that it says extra firm, not just firm, because that stuff will crumble when you're trying to bake it. And it's no fun. It's kind of, yeah, that sucks. So we won't do that. Extra firm tofu for the win. And pat this dry. Some people are a little more obsessed and will stick like a, some books or something like that on top of it and plenty of uh, paper towels to drain a lot of the fluid out of the, the tofu, but I'm not going to be overly fussy with that. We want to make this easy, quick, low maintenance tofu. That's what we're doing here. That's actually the name of the recipe because I'm low maintenance. All right. So that is that. And you get to choose how you would like to cut your tofu. I'm going to go with I hope that's the correct trash can. Anyway, I'm going to go with just basic slices. So we're going to maybe about a centimeter or a half an inch thickness. We're just going to cut down like this. And it should probably make eight slices per, per uh, tofu brick. Da -da -da -da. Okay. The next thing to do is... All right, I'm, I'm sort of loose with my measurements here, but for two packs of tofu, I'm going to use probably close to what's left over in this uh, tamari uh, bottle. So it's going to be about an eighth to a quarter of a cup of, of tamari. So I'm just going to put some in on this bowl, and we're going to start with that. We're going to add some more, but I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit of garlic and onion powder in there as well. And let's just kind of mix this up, get our hands dirty, let that go, bring some of these to the side. Let's get a little more in here. All right, almost there. Add a little bit more. More garlic. Garlic's awesome. I love it. So is the onion powder. But if you're offended by garlic, you can, again, use uh, different ingredients. You don't have to go with this particular marinade. I'm sure that online there's, there's plenty of different cool marinades that don't involve garlic. Just try to get those last little, little bits here. Now, because there's salt in here, it's going to extract some of the water 
uh, from the tofu. So this will, you know, even though I'm kind of absorbing a lot of the, the soy sauce right now, that's also going to, to drain out of the tofu a little bit and end up at the bottom of the bowl. So I would marinate this for maybe like 30 minutes. If you want to marinate it overnight too, that will just make the tofu, I think, taste even better. But I would say try to marinate it for at least 30 minutes. So we'll be back in a moment and then we'll take it to the next step. Alrighty, so I preheated the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what the Celsius is, so somebody do that conversion for me. Anyway, I've got some, uh, some uh, spray olive oil and these pans here. And if you want to do this without oil, use silicon baking sheets. That, that totally works too if you're trying to like minimize the amount of fat that you're using in recipes, or you could use parchment paper. So there's a few different ways you could do this. So anyway, let's go ahead and spray down each one of these, because I think we're gonna need them all to fit the tofu on there. And let's just go ahead lay them down. Lay, them down. lay it down, just like the, the rat song for all you people who love rat. That's actually one of the best guitar riffs ever. You know what, now that I'm doing this too, I greased too many pans. I don't think we're gonna need all these pans. <laughs> That's all right. You know, we're, we're uh, making sure that we're prepared. Okay, so anyway, place all of these cutlets on the sheets like so. And, and check this out, this marinade, save it. Because what we'll do is in the middle of baking all this, we're gonna just kind of baste the tofu a little bit here and there. So what we're gonna do is put this in the oven. It's gonna be about 30 minutes total. Uh, every 10 minutes though, we're gonna flip them, okay? So that's all you gotta to remember to do. Flip them every 10 minutes and bake them for about 30 minutes. And uh, you could go 40 minutes if you want them a little bit crispier, but uh, 30 should do it. Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. Nice. All right, so we're gonna do another flip here. Oh wait, hold on, I don't have my gloves. All right, if you don't have your gloves, Hat hair. Just take your shirt. You gotta make do sometimes. Alright, oh, first, before I flip, I wanna just marinate. Just pour some of this, the rest of that marinade that we saved. Alright, just get that on there. We'll toss these. Flip them all. Let's see. Let's see how good my flipping skills are. Cool. All right. So this should probably be done. Let's take a look. And this actually looks great. This is um nice golden brown finish on there. Looks lovely. All right, we'll turn this off. And uh, just let that cool off for a moment. And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to mention with this marinade and this tofu concept, you don't have to bake it. You could also gr throw it on the grill as well too. If you were to do that, I would pat dry the tofu a little bit longer. Uh, try to get some of the moisture out of there because you don't want it. You don't want the tofu to crumble on the grill. And, and a few other moves you can pull that are, I'd say, less healthy but are quite delicious. You could pan fry these with oil. Um, I've coated this in like, you know, the mar the marinated tofu before you bake it. I've coated it in cornmeal, and I've used different seasonings. Like I, I would throw some like thyme in there, or like I'd throw in some chili powder or something like that. 
and maybe some paprika and a little bit of salt and then, then just take that mixture and coat the tofu and then pan fry it so you could do that too and then use that as a main course or again you can make sort of a like a fried uh, plant-based kind of chicken or fish type of sandwich with that style of tofu. Um, so yeah, this is a really diverse recipe. And then the way I would serve it up right now is I would probably just add this to a plate as, as a main course. I might serve it with a little bit of barbecue sauce or sriracha, uh, maybe some home fried tomatoes or baked potato or something like that. And, you know, kind of have your classic American style meal, maybe like a grilled asparagus or steamed broccoli or something like that on the side. Very, very Midwestern, kind of the way that I grew up. Instead of, of tofu, though, it would have been probably fish or chicken or something like that. So, yeah, this is a really cheap recipe. So this is even cheaper than that. So if you're just looking for a cheap, healthy recipe, I think tofu is great. So the skill that, that it takes to make this recipe is uh, pretty entry level. So anyway, let's try it out and see if it's any good. Now that we're done here, let's go uh, see if the band enjoys the tofu. So I'm going to follow me through this obstacle course. All right, uh, would you like to try some tofu? There's a camera rolling, so you're gonna be on film if you decide to come out here. Okay, so this is the baked tofu, of course. Um, and again, you could eat it as is, just like this, but if you're a saucy type of person, I would, I, I like barbecue sauce, but yeah, sriracha, ketchup, whatever you're into, if you make a gravy or something like that, you could probably pour that on top. Uh, this is a very flexible uh, uh, dish right here. So, or just try it as is. I mean, I can um, yeah. be kind of punk rock and just, uh, oh, okay, well, I'll give you, yeah, okay. I've chopped it up, but everyone can have like a whole one. So yeah, I mean, there's, there's plenty to go around. So I'll have it after, and, uh, thank you. And let me know if it's any good. I'm gonna try this. Oh, we'll tell you. We'll we'll see. Test. I got you. Mmm. Oh my god. How we feeling? Yeah, that's that's rock solid. And. Again, like if you really want to take it to a whole nother level, marinate the tofu overnight. Mm -hmm. uh, we just did a quick marinade, but if you want to really infuse the marinade vibe into your tofu, just marinate it overnight. But if you're in a hustle, so be it. Do it as is. Delicious. So Thank good. you. Cool. Nice yeah. 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 All right. These are all the rocks. So all right, cool. All right, good night. <laughs>